Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from TV Water. Thank you so much for joining me today. As I promised, I will do an in-depth flip-through video of my Filofax pocket. So here I am today. This video is about my 2019 Filofax pocket croc in Ebony. Um, how the setup of it and I just can't wait to show you but before that I would like to share with you um, some of my accessory like when I do my pre-planning my planning what I bring with me first of all is my pen pouch this leather pen pouch is from the superior labor and what I have in this pen pouch is those highlighters <laughs> um, Yep, I have a lot of highlighters. I love to use highlighters and I think they're a must uh, when I do my pre-planning because whenever I have an important task or event or important date and I want it to pop up right away, I that's when I use my highlighters and they really help me a lot to like catch my eyes, my attention right away. So this is one of those. And the other thing that I would like to share is this little A6 ring binder. Um, I got it off eBay, I believe. So my, as you can see, my planner is kind of chunky already. Um, so I keep the rest of the insert, I mean the extra insert in this little binder. So whenever I want to switch around, whenever I have extra insert, I put them all in in this little binder and I keep them all together. So whenever I need a new one or I want to play around my planner, I go for this little A6 ring binder. So that's about that. Um, those are my accessory when I do my planning. So now let's jump right into the setup of my pocket. So when you open it up on the left, you see two packs of those slim sticky flag. I got it off um, SC, I believe. I'll link the link down below and I will show you how I use them later on when I do my planning, when I do my flip through. And then underneath in this pocket, I just have two packs of sticky notes. Um, this one, I usually use it to jot down my grocery list. And this one, I use it to jot down important tasks. So that is that. In this pocket, I'm not gonna show you. Uh, I just tuck in all my sticky notes and sticky flags in here in case I run out um, any of them, either of them. And then in the back pocket, I just put my favorite sticker from my favorite sticker shop, and that is the planner spot. I just have a couple of them, like those dates and those teacups and heart and the bow. Um, I just adore the style so much, so minimalist and yet so cute. Um, I just take them all in there and then I just have some paper like important files important paper that I carry around so here it is my planner um, currently I'm using two pens the first one is a ballpoint pen from my husband in Christmas and this is just a normal three color gel pen this is my dashboard um, I like it I keep this dashboard as kind of like a winter, um, Christmassy kind of vibes uh, dashboard. So on top, I sort of have a frosted dashboard to kind of protect the card underneath and I have a clip to clip them together. I really, really adore this illustration. So I just, I think it was a postcard, but I cut it in size, hole punch it and put it here. And then I have another dashboard. I got this pen and paper from Michael's. I just, again, cut it in size, laminate it, and hole punch it and put it here. So at the back of the dashboard, I have more sticky notes and I use those sticky notes as my monthly. I keep my November here and my December in here. Um, I do have a new insert to replace this sticky note. The reason why I still keep them in here is because I want to show you guys how I do my keyword planning in 2018. I usually keep two months in here um, 
the last month or the month before it just for kind of like a reference and uh, of course I do keep my current month and I will explain more about how I use this insert later on because I have a new insert but yeah that is my monthly keywords sticky notes and I have six tabs the first tab is nest action and I'm still using the sticky notes method that inspired by Maddie L. And as you can see, I need to buy grocery. <laughs> um, yeah, I just keep that up front here. And in my next action section, I simply just keep it the same way. Um, like I mentioned in my last setup, setup video, I use this section to jot down messy notes quick notes or recipe, anything. So for example, here is some information of the new tripod that I'm going to buy. So I just jot down the name, the price difference and everything so I can do a comparison later on. And this is just some recipe. So those are messy notes. Whenever at the end of the week, I will organize them into a more organized no section where is here um, I have another top tab of to do and notes section so I divided this section into two parts the first part is messy notes and then I have a more organized section for more to do and notes um, in here I'll show you the blank page it's just two sections with the title area um, the left one is my to-do and the right one is my note. Basically, the note section is kind of explain the to-do. For example, I have my PR interview and the detail of, the, of that interview, I jot it down in here. So I jot down the adjust, I jot down more detailed information, what I need to bring and what I need to do regarding the interview. So here is kind of like explanation of the to-do section. And I do keep track of my packages. Um, more example here, I need to buy some medicine for my father. But before I purchase those medicine, I would like to confirm with my family doctor first. I want to ask her some question regarding the medicine. So I just jot down the question here and some researches that I need to do before I purchase the medicine. And more packages list. And yeah, so this is just my organized kind of no section here. And then I just keep a couple of note pages. And then I have my um, plastic dashboard. This one, I got it from Sesavi, I believe, is so thin and so flexible. I just attached my Lotion 1917 pen loop in here. The elastic is so tight and so tiny and small. Finally, my husband got me a great pen that I can fit in in this pen loop. Yep, so I just put it in here. The next section is my planning section. Uh, which is my main section as well. I just have a piece of vellum paper. And here is my year on one page. Most of my inserts are from Peanut Planner Co. Um, unless I say otherwise. So this is the year yearly bundle, I believe. And this is the year on one page. And I have a clip here to kind of clip January and the yearly bundle together because the next section is my checker section. And it is inspired by Peanut Planner Co. as well. Um, I will link her video, YouTube channel, and Instagram down below. Make sure you check it out. Her insert is so functional, minimalist, and I really, really enjoy using it. So first of all, I have this two section insert again. In the corner, I just jot down my mini calendar. But I think I will remove this calendar later on because I do have a lot of mini calendar. Um, so on the left, I just jot down to do, important task, etc. Um, on the right, I just jot down important date. For example, uh, January 26th is my mother's birthday. So I jot it down in here. And then I have my checker section is a pull out um, insert. Um, 
I have three sections. The first one is self-improvement. The second one is house. The third one is mood and sleep. Um, so for more important checker, I of course highlight them. So yeah, so far so good. I need to um, jot down the information from yesterday. I haven't jotted it down yet. Today is the 4th of January. I need to catch up my 3rd January. But yeah, this is my checker. And this is the uh, January. And then you flip over is my February. I still have the mini calendar in the corner. But if you go to my March, I don't have anything. Because I think I will have some changes. I'm so sorry about the lighting. The sun is coming out and hiding <laughs> all the time. I, I just have no control of it. So please excuse the lighting. Um, anyway, so for March, I haven't done anything yet because maybe I think maybe I will have some changes or um, other stuff that I want to add or remove. So I give myself two months to check it out and then I will decide if I have any changes or not. Um, I do keep a uh, half year in here from January to June and then goes to my next fold-out. This fold-out is my to watch and to read fold-out because in 2019 I really want to keep my life more organized and I want to read more and watch more movies basically. Um, so whenever I've heard some people said, oh, this book is so good, I will jot down the name here. So whenever I want to buy some books, I can always check the list from my to read section here. Then I can purchase the book from the list. The same thing goes to the movie. Um, if I know some of my favorite movie is going on the screen in January, um, I will jot it down in here. So how to train your dragon. I really, really want to watch it. It's already out there, but I just don't have the time yet. So here's my to read and to watch list. Um, they have half year on one page and the other half year on the other page. So I will just keep doing the same thing to read and to watch for each month. And then is my another calendar. So these two calendar kind of working together. The first one is the one that I mentioned at the beginning, the one that I will replace the sticky notes here because basically, as you can see, they are the same thing. So how I use this insert, my way or my method is I use keywords because as you can see, the boxes here is so tiny, so small, I can only fit in a couple of words. So for example, um, on the first day of each month, I need to pay rent. So I jot down rent and I use my blue highlighter to highlight the date. And then here, January 26th, again, is my mom's birthday. So I highlight it and then I say mom. Um, so those are my keywords. Or if I have an event, I will jot down event. Or if I have a date, I will jot down date. You know, those are the keywords for my task. And for more detail, I will flip over and jot it down in here. Um, so for example, again, in January, January the 1st, I need to pay the rent. January the 26th is my mother's birthday. So I highlight January the 1st and 26th here. So I know that something is going to happen and I jot it down more detailed notes on the left in this area. Um, I haven't jot down my mom's birthday yet because before 26, I assume there's some things going to happen um, and I want to keep it in order from the 1st to the uh, 31st. So that's why I haven't jot down my mom's birthday. But if there's nothing is going to happen, I will jot it down right next to it. So these two calendar, they are working together and they are working so well. So whenever I know that I'm going to have an appointment, I can go to this calendar and do a quick note. And when I call and when I come home, I can jot down more details in this little calendar. So that is that. And then I have another monthly. 
I know you might have a question why you have so many monthly because I have so many things to check I really want to have an organized life that that's why I have so many inserts in here if this way doesn't work for you um, I'm sure you can find your own way. If you are a minimalist, you don't see why I have so many inserts and you don't see the reason why it's so bulky, I'm happy for you because you found a more easier way to organize your life. Anyway, um, this, this monthly um, to-do list is my next monthly. As I mentioned, those are my checker and to read, to watch, and keywords. And this one is my detail one. So in the top here, on the top section, um, it is important date. I already jotted it down. And then you have a mini, mini calendar. That's why I said I will remove the mini calendar from the checker because I have one in here already. And then I, I have my focus and then bills to deal. And then here is my to-do list. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward, simple. If I have anything that I need to do, no matter big or small, I will jot it down in here. If it's important, I will highlight it with highlighter. Um, I will show you the last month here. So this is my December. Um, I use different colors in December, but in January, I figured I would just use the same color and it works so well for me. I can keep adding my to-do or my add-ons in this area, so I don't need to worry about running out of space. And in the focus um, section, I can just shut down what's my goals. Like in December, I want to read more, I need to make Christmas cards and wrap gifts, and I've done all of it and I can also keep track of my important dates and I can keep track of my due dates so it's really convenient um, and it's straightforward clear and clean um, so that's why I keep this insert in here and then the next one I have another monthly don't freak out um, I will explain so this monthly is from Ellen Moon Paper Co I hope I pronounced it right I really, really, really love this insert. It's so elegant, so minimalist, so simple. I really like the design. I love the font, and I love that um, they have this gray dot for you to get on the date. I don't know, I just love the gray color. And for each week, you have your to-do section on the right, and then in the bottom, you have your goal section and you have your note section. So, I will explain why I have so many monthly. So for this monthly, actually is for my finance. I, in 2018, I believe I used the finance routine insert from Peanut Planet Co. But um, that one doesn't really work for me because I don't have any debt right now. So always at the back of that insert, it's always empty. And I just, it just doesn't work for me. So I figured out um, a monthly calendar probably is the best um, solution for myself. First, I receive tips every single week on Monday. So I would like to keep track of that because at the end of the year, no, in April, I need to clean my tax. And then after I receive my tips on Monday, so on Tuesday, I would like to check how much I actually deposit. Sometimes I deposit more because I have cash, more cash. Sometimes I deposit less because I spend the money on something else. So I would like to keep track of that. And I got paid by weekly. So I need to keep track of my payday as well. And for to do, um, I don't think I have anything to jot down in here. But the goal section, I, I think I'm going to jot down my monthly saving goals but I just don't have the time to figure out how much actually I can save right now. So that's why I leave it blank. And the notes section is for extra notes. So I just think a little calendar will work better for me. That's why I use this calendar for my finance routine. Um, my finance routine is simple, stable, 
That's why I can jot it all down together in the monthly calendar. So this section, this thick section, um, is all about my monthly and they work, they has been working so well so far. <laughs> um, the next section is my weekly. This is my weekly insert. Um, it's my first time to use this insert. This one is the latest new release from Peanut Planner Co. I love it. I will show you what I've been using before. So this is the insert that I was using and it is from Ellen Moon Paper Co. and they call it Stina Insert, Stina Weekly. I love, love, love it too. Um, so I think like a month ago, I saw Stina share this one, share this um, design on her Instagram. And I was right away like, oh my God, I need this one because it looks so functional and it has everything that I need. Um, but, and then I check Ellen Moon Paper Co. and I figure out it's a customized design. So it was only for Satina. But, and then they decided they will share this design to everyone. So now you can purchase from um, Ellen Moon Paper Co.'s Etsy. I'm so glad, so happy that they share this insert and I really, really appreciate it. I really love this insert. So basically on the left, you have your mini calendar. Again, I know, but I would like to check what is the current week. I just have that habit. Um, so I would like to know what is the current week. And then you have Monday to Sunday. I use stickers to jot down important dates. For example, every Friday I need to pay off my credit card. So here it is. Um, every Friday I need to pay off my credit card. And on the right, on the top here, you have this week and to buy. I believe they have two versions. The first version is with the title, this weekend to buy. And the second version is without. They don't have any title. So you can basically jot down your own title or your own list. You can jot down morning routine. You can jot down evening routine, or you can jot down grocery list or, you know, um, expenses or any kind of list. You can jot it down in here. And then in the center is a little box where I usually jot down my focus. And then in the bottom is my notes section. It's, it's been working so well. I really, really like this insert. As you can see, I freaking love it. Um, it's basically full every single week because I just can't wait to fill it in, you know, fill everything in here. I just, whenever I flip through all my used insert, I feel so satisfied. I know I'm weird, um, but anyway, so those are the inserts from December. So here is an example how I use my uh, slim sticky flag. So this one is blue. Blue is represent like appointment, important task, or important event. More serious, more official, I will use blue. Um, on this Friday, I need to see my family doctor. That's why I use blue flag. And I believe um, at the end, yep, here, um, I need to pay off my credit card. I use my finance yellow sticky flag. And then I have a date with my friend. I use pink. So those slim sticky flag is kind of like my own color coding. So right away, I know what is important. What are those important things in this week? And on that specific day, I know right away I need to do those stuff. So um, in January, I switched to this new insert. I would like to try. I wasn't sure because I just love that Stina insert so much. So I wasn't sure if I would like this one or not. But it turns out I love it. I know I have so many choices now. I used to not loving weekly because I just couldn't find one weekly that works for me. But and then I found Stina's design. I love it. I use it for a month. And then now Peanut Planner Co. released this new insert and I love it too. So I will give you a blank one and kind of flip through with you all. 
So first on the left, of course, is the fold out. As you can see, it's longer than your usual insert. Um, on the left, you have eight boxes here um, where you can jot down your weekly, like Monday to Sunday, and then your to-do. Or you can use it to jot down your list. For example, to read, to watch, to do, morning routine, evening routine, hydration checker, weather checker, or anything. Anything that you want. You can basically use those boxes to keep track of your whole weekly to-do or to pay attention. You know what I mean? And then on the bottom, you have a little checker, more checker in here. Um, I use it to jot down my mini calendar because I need it. <laughs> and then here is more list section on the right. So why I love this insert so much is because what they have on the right. I really, really want to try Jibun Techo because I just love the weekly vertical layout. Um, how can I say in a better way? It's like it reveals your whole, your true living style because you have to jot down everything, everything on that insert on Jibun Techo. And if you don't have an organized day, you know it right away because you all you can jot down is wasting time reading or oh not reading, um, sleeping or something. Um, I'm not saying it's not right, it's right. Someday you just need to have a rest. But for me, I really want to keep track of what I've been doing, what I have done, what I'm going to do. So this insert is basically a similar layout as the Jibun Techo, so I want to try it right away. So here is how I use it. So on the left, like I said, I use it as my weekly. I am using the same method on Friday. I need to pay off my credit card, which is today actually. And then on Saturday and Sunday, I have my grow, I have my grow state. So on those two days. And for some uncertain task, which I don't know when I'm going to finish them, when I'm going to do, um, I jot them all down on sticky notes so I can move them all around in this weekly or even transfer it to the next week. And in the corner, um, I used it to jot down my current week and right next to it is my important date. And then I have my grocery list. Oh, I have my to-do, sorry, this is my to-do. And then on the right, um, as you can see, I have couples of blocks, sleep, for two hours, it's kind of like a nap before I go to work. I work three to 11, it's pretty stable and decent. So I block it out and I jet down work. And on Sunday, I know from 12 to eight, I have a date with my girlfriend. So I block it out already. And then in the bottom here, I have my grocery list and I'm thinking to jet down the weather um, thinking to have a weather check in those two boxes or to buy or something. I haven't figured out yet. So it's, that's why I leave it blank. But that's what I think I will do for the next week. Do a weather check and to buy. So this weekly is just really functional. You see your whole week right away and you can plan your daily. And I don't think I need my daily anymore. But of course, I still keep my daily in here just in case. But yeah, look at this. It's just so functional and I really, really think this helped me, this insert helps me to organize my life so much better. And I know how much I spend because on top of it, I just jot down how much I spend and how much I receive because I receive tips, right? And yeah, this is my current insert. I just, I just love it. I love it so much. So I just keep a couple more of it. I think it's good for two months. And then goes to my daily. I have a little ruler um, to highlight the daily. So this is my daily. I will show you how I use it as well in December. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Again, um, you can plan your meal here. You can have your workout. You can have your hydration. 
your timeline and your to-do list in a couple more sections for whatever you need to jot down. So yeah, it's been working well for me. I don't use it every day because I don't have busy, busy day every single day. I usually jot down what I need to do on the weekend. So that is like eight days in a month. Um, so yeah, that's how I use my daily. And then, I, and then I have my home section. I just have another um, reoccurring task for me because it works so well in 2018. So in 2019, I'm going to use the same thing. And then I have another top loading or top tab here to kind of highlight my meal planning section. I have those sticky notes for grocery list. So whenever I go to that Chinese supermarket, I know what I'm going to buy. That's that's why I have those lists in here. If I was like, oh, what I need to buy today, I can check those lists and just go for those groceries. At the back, I have receipt for the last month, I believe. I need to organize it and um, throw it away. Um, this is my meal planning section. Um, so far, I have nothing. I have my checker section. So, so far, I only have one because I, we are still renting a place. On the first day of every month, I need to pay rent. So for January, I already check it because we've already paid. And then it's my self um, section here. So this is my saving challenge to save 10,000 in a year. Um, I think it will be quite hard for me, um, but I would like to try. And then on the right, I have another reoccurring task. The first task, and the only task that I have in here is reading pages, because every month I want to have a number, the number that how many pages that I've read in the past month. So I can keep track of that. And maybe if I read too little in January, maybe I can improve that a little bit in February. So I would like to keep track of that, but that is it so far. And then I have my wish list in here and then goes to my another little postcard dashboard. And this is my private section where I check, keep all my password. And those insert paper is from Filofax that came with this planner. The last but not least is my miscellaneous. Um, I only have a top loading pocket where I keep all my stickers and sticker samples from purchases. In here at the back, I just keep the forever doggy picture in here. It just make me happy whenever I, I see it. Um, and then I just keep all my sticker paper at the back and they are from minimalist planner. Um, this was grocery and bills and this week, uh, YouTube videos, grocery again, laundry, money, dollar sign, check sign. You know, it's just random, random stickers. And this is my pen in this uh, planner pen loop. So this is my setup for 2019. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if it takes forever. Um, I hope I explain it well of my 2019 system. And I hope you see the reason why it's so bulky and why I have this with me every single day because it literally holds everything that I need, everything that I need to chip check off, everything in this little tiny planner. How amazing it is. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and I wish you all have a great day, have a great new year, and I can't wait to film another video for you guys on the coming Friday. So anyway, have a nice day, have a great weekend, and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye-bye.